Yo, 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 welcome back to the Further Your Lifestyle podcast, conversations on lifestyle, passions, and hustles. My name's Chris Furlong. I am your host, and I'm super excited to be back here having the conversation with you. Episode 67 today, and I'm sharing literally what's on my heart, fresh off what's been on my mind this week. And to be honest, I'm coming fresh off having, um, unfortunately, having COVID-19 and at the time of recording this, it's been about 10 days since testing positive, and all I can say is the last week has been a bit of a blur, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, and it's, I didn't expect any of it, it's kind of taken me off, um, off guard, and re- yeah, really thrown me over the edge, but I'm, I'm not here to talk about that, really what I want to chat about today is the whole parallel narrative that I guess plays along with this, and that is about obstacles are paths too. Now, what I mean by this, and we're going to dive straight into it right now, so so buckle up, is, you know, when, when we take a path towards our dreams, towards our goals, we must never, ever forget that these paths are sometimes going to be mountains that we have to climb, they're going to be valleys that we can kind of speed down, they're going to be crossroads where we're going to have to choose to, you know, make a different path or to turn a different way, and there's going to be obstacle courses along the way too, and that's the reality of it, that's, that's just, to be frank, that's how it's going to be, and, and sometimes there's also smooth sailing, and, you know, that's great as well, right, but the reality though is, things will change all the time. Things will pop up out of the unknown and will take us by surprise. And this is the reality of it. And it's kind of like seasons. There's going to be times of ups, times of downs, and times of smooth sailing and times of, you know, keeping it dry or maybe where you're feeling a little bit bored. But these are all seasons and times where we get to learn and we get to a pivot and we get to adjust. And that's what we're going to chat about. Now, the good news is this. Obstacles, setbacks, competition, all these, they all bring opportunity and opportunity for growth. And look, I'm speaking to myself as much as I am speaking to anyone that's listening. Smooth sailing is great. Smooth sailing is what we want. We want it all the time. But do you actually know how we can manage smooth sailing? How we even get to that point or why things are sometimes really, really easy and look like we've got it all together? And that is because when we are smooth sailing, when things are going well, it's because we know how to handle the seas that come our way. You know, it might be little waves, it might be some big waves, but when these things come to shake us, we already know how to manage it. And that's why it looks like smooth sailing, whether we're looking at someone else or whether someone's looking at us and saying, we've got it all figured out. And that's because we're in a comfort zone. We're in an area where we know what we're doing. Hence why it's smooth sailing. You know, we've learned to sail through these. We've learned to go around them. We've learned to go over them. We've learned to conquer these seas. And like I said, whether they're rough or light or heavy or small, we've we've gotten to this situation. We've gotten into this position simply because we've got some experience behind our belt. And that is exactly the only way we got there is through the experience and actually managing these challenges. So though sometimes will really, really challenge us, some will defeat us and, and sometimes they will even help us level up and we'll see that very, very clearly. But each scenario, every path that we cross, every road that we take, each moment of these is an experience. And this will equip us with the new knowledge that we need, the new strength that we need, the new mindset that we need, and the new perspective that we need. Because at the end of the day, we don't know what we don't know. And I've mentioned this a few times, and I'm happily going to continue to share this again and again. When we look back with hindsight, you know, over the last hundred days, over the last year, over the last few years and more, we can see the progress that we've done today. We can see the chart of progress and the experience, and the things that we've endured, the things that we've had to conquer, and the things that we've gone through, right? And of course, if we knew what we knew now, you know, back then, it would have been smooth sailing, because we would have had all the knowledge to move forwards. But when you reflect on these times, when you look back over the previous, whether it's 100 days, years, or whatever, there will be many wins. You'll see that there's been many, many things that you've accomplished. There's also going to be lots of things that you didn't do at your best, things that didn't work out, things which made us change direction, things which you cringe about now, but things that helped us get to where we are today. And they would have been new pivots, new destinations, and things that we've had to kind of adjust along the way. Obstacle courses that kind of put us on our back, you know, kicked us up the bum, things that really, really did give us a reality check. But here we are now with what we've got, what we know, and we're smooth sailing in in some cases. Now, at the same time, there's probably a lot of things that are challenging us right now as well. 
lots of things that are making us maybe doubt things, maybe fe feeling a little fearful, or maybe there's a bit of angst, or maybe we're thinking, how are we going to move forward with what's coming at us? But what I want to say to you is this, don't fret about the times ahead, whether it's <laughs> the crashing markets that's been in the news at the moment with crypto plummeting, the share market, the stock market having billions wiped out, we've got rising inflation, we've got higher interest rates, we've got things going up and costing more all around us, and there's so many unknown changes. You know, and it was only a couple of year, years ago, we were thinking, how are we gonna get out of lockdown? How are we gonna get through this new pandemic? How are we going to do all these things? Yet we've passed that, and now we've got the next crisis or the next thing that is challenging us in our day-to-day -day lives. And the, these are just the headlines of the macro world of the things basically out of our control. Then we have our personal lives, we have our things which are challenging us on a personal level on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to focus on what you know, and that is you are here and you're trying to get over there, meaning you're starting at X and you're trying to get to Y. So the big question you have to ask yourself is, so how are you going to get there? What are the steps that you need to take? Nothing's changed. I mean, there's lots that's changed, but the reality of the question that we're asking and the answer of that is exactly the same. We know that we want to be at a certain point by a certain time. I guess the difference is our mission remains exactly the same. It's just the battlefield, the environment and the ecosystem that has changed. So that means we need to adjust. It means we need to pivot. We need to realign. We need to regroup and we need to move forward on the path that makes most sense. Now, there will be obstacles, but that's all part of the adventure. Now, if you wanna chat about this, if you th have some comments about this conversation, if maybe you, you know, you're struggling, or maybe you know, you've got your opinion of your own, and I'm open to opinions because the reality is, at the moment, there's a lot of things going on. I'm dealing with my own personal struggles, um, just you know, being totally thrown off my feet with how I'm feeling coming out of COVID, and you know, getting hit with some fatigue, and it's kind of taken me, I, I guess, it's unexpected, and you know, that's the reality of it. It means I need to slow down and get back into the groove of things a lot slower than I expected. It means I can't do things that I want to be doing, but I still need to find ways to make things happen of where I want to be. And at the end of the day, you know, we have where we want to be. We put time limits on these things. We put pressure on ourselves to achieve these goals. But the reality is sometimes we won't achieve what we wanted by a certain period of time. Sometimes we won't even achieve what we wanted in the long run. But I'm not saying don't set goals. What I'm saying is don't lose sight of what you want. You know, just because you might have a target that's 10x of where you are now doesn't mean you're not going to get to 6x of where you are now. And I think that's really, really important to understand is that we do. We put these big, big, bold, aud audacious goals on ourselves and we think, we're not going to show up and be able to meet where we wanted to be. Hit that expectation. Well, the reality is, well, no, we, we might not. We might exceed it also. But even if you don't, you're probably still going to land further than if you hadn't started or further than what you maybe expected that you could have done in the, in the first place. Right. And that, that's all part of the adventure. That's all part of the experience. And then you can adjust, readjust, pivot and get back on track and, and you know, track a new course to where you want to be. And that's all part of it. So if you want to chat about this, if maybe something here has resonated with you, let's continue the conversation. You can drop me a message over on Instagram via DMs at Further Your Lifestyle, or you can drop me an email or there's some links in the description below and let's connect. Let's, let's chat. I would really, really appreciate it. Of course, there's no pressure as well. Anyway, that's it from me this week, short and sweet, and really what's been on my mind. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a wonderful time, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, however you're listening. And I really do appreciate you listening. If this episode did resonate with you, or if there's an episode that has resonated with you, I would also ask, if you don't mind, please share this with someone that you think can benefit from this. Because at the end of the day, I want to help you and I want to help as many people as possible further their lifestyle. And sometimes it's just a small message like this that I've shared today that might actually just need to be heard by someone to help them press on and you know continue down the path of where they want to be. Whether or not it's got big obstacles or small obstacles, at the end of the day, the message is we're going to go through a bit of an adventure. That's part of the ride, but let's not lose focus on where we want to be, making sure that we're supporting each other, but also asking the right questions, right? That's it from me. Really do appreciate you being here. 
you have a wonderful day. Cheers. Now, if you didn't know, we do have the podcast merch, and this is with a key focus of enamel pins. Now, if you haven't checked these out, make sure you do, because the intent of these are really just to be a small token and a reminder for you to charge on, to push on, and to further your lifestyle. Uh, whether it is a gift for someone else to encourage them or maybe to inspire them, or maybe it's a way to motivate yourself, or you can simply just make a purchase to simply support the podcast, which would be greatly appreciated. We do also have some sweaters and some long tees, so make sure you check it out. Link in the description and in the show notes. Really do appreciate it. Cheers.